the 2022 uh, NCWB Award Ceremony. I'm Bryce McGee, the Commissioner of North Carolina Wiffle Ball. Tonight we will be presenting all of the uh, awards to the uh, best performers, performers of the 2022 season. Um, it's been a great year, guys, so I'm looking forward to getting with the award ceremony. So without further ado, I'm going to get Ethan Williams to come on up here to announce the 2022 Comeback Player of the Year. Thank you, Bryson. I just want to tell you guys, great season, um, but I'm, just, I'm not going to give y'all a speech. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. Comeback player of the year, did incredible, did, you know, everything that they had to do. You know, came back, showed the most heart, more heart than the 2020 Nationals in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, comeback player of the year is no other than Jackson Carroll. All over that one, high, deep, and clears the wall. 0-2 count, Carol deals, strike three, looking. All right, so the NCWB Gold Gloves are given to the players who had the best uh, defensive performance um, by far and backing up their uh, pitchers when the pitchers needed it most. Uh, the AL Gold Glove Award candidates are So, without further ado, the uh, 2022 AL Gold Glove goes to Ethan Williams. No. Yeah. What a catch! No. Oh, oh. So the National League Gold Glove under the same criteria, the player backed up his pitcher when he needed it most. So without further ado, the uh, 2022 National League um, Gold Glove candidates are. And the 2022 National League Gold Glove goes to Taylor Furtis from the Backdoor Bulldogs. All right. Oh, that one's in. Purchase makes the play. Thank you, Bryson. Congratulations to our Gold Glove Award winners. Our next up is the Silver Slugger Award, which is given to the batter with the most regular season home runs in each league, who gave their team a boost with their ability to hit the long ball. The candidates for the 2022 American League Silver Slugger Award are... And the 2022 American League Silver Slugger goes to Brian McGee of the Eastern Express with 25 home runs. That one's up, deep and gone. Brian McGee, the Express captain, with his first home run. Second, the pitchy deals. Liner gone for Mr. Brian McGee. Congratulations to Brian McGee. Our next award is the National League Silver Slugger Award under the same criteria. The candidates for the 2022 National League Silver Slugger Award are. <laughs> and the 2022 National League Silver Slugger Award goes to Bryson McGee of the Carolina Crush with 31 home runs. Steps in, father, son, first pitch. Line shot, and that's a solo shot. First of the year. All right, Bryce McGee back in the box. Up, deep, gone. A deep solo shot. Run, Jimmy Jack, that makes it 5 nothing, Or 5-1, excuse me. That adds. Congratulations, Bryson. Our next award is the batting title award, which is given to the batter in each league that has the highest batting average who gave their team a boost with the ability to put the ball in play and get on base. The candidates for the 2022 American League batting title are... And the 
And the 2022 AL batting title goes to Ethan Williams of the Southeastern Sharks with a 623 average. Congratulations, Ethan. Ball game, walk off, grand slam for Pitchy Deals. High, deep, gone for Ethan Williams. The pitch, he deals. Deep, gone. The next award is the National League batting title. The candidates for the 2022 National League batting title are. And the 2022 NL batting title goes to none other than Bryson McGee of the Carolina Crush with a 667 average on the year. Steps in, father, son, first pitch. Line shot, and that's a solo shot. First of the year. All right, Bryson McGee back in the box. Up, deep. Gone! A deep solo shot. He run Jimmy Jack. That makes it 5 nothing, Or 5-1, excuse me. Not bad. All right, let's welcome Bryson back to the stage to announce our next award, the 2022 Rookie of the Year. All right, so the, uh, the Rookie of the Year was given to the uh, player who had the best performance in their first year in the league. Uh, last year's was Josh Logan. Um, that was an awesome performance by Josh Logan, but this is this year. So without further ado, the uh, 2022 Rookie of the Year is none other than Brett Wiseman. The pitch from Isaac Williams, he deals. Hey, you got room, you got room. Gone. First home run for Brett. 2-2 two, two the count now. Two to miss. So Wiseman reports, reports his first strikeout. Unfortunately, uh, Brett was unable to be with us uh, this evening uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances, but he wanted me to tell y'all that he was a thank you guys and that he will see y'all in 2023. So the uh, next award um, will welcome back Isaac Williams to the uh, stage to announce the uh, 2022 Cy Young Award winners. Congratulations, Brett. Uh, the Cy Young Award is given to the pitcher in each league with the lowest ERA who contributed most on the mound to his team's success. The candidates for the 2022 American League Cy Young Award are uh, and the 2022 American League Cy Young goes to none other than Ethan Williams of the Southeastern Sharks with a 6.46 ERA, 18 strikeouts, Pitchy deals. Swing and a miss. Strike out. The pitchy deals. Strike three. Look. Two two. Swing. The next award is the National League Cy Young Award. The candidates for the 2022 NL Cy Young are. And the 2022 NL Cy Young goes to Bryson McGee of the Carolina Crush. With a 6.00 ERA, 52 strikeouts, and an 11 2 record on the year. Congratulations. Go to pitch again. Swing and a miss. Left it in the mitt. Want you pitch? Got him looking. Backwards K. Go to pitch once more. Swing and a miss. Got him on strike. Congratulations, Bryson. Now, let's welcome Ethan Williams back to the stage to announce our 2022 Mo Closer Award for the pitcher with the most saves. All right, Mo Closer, you know, it's crazy. It's gonna sound crazy, but they needed one save to get this award, and they, they did it. They did exactly what, you know, exactly what I just said. One save, and that's all. No, <laughs> the one player to do that was Taylor Purchase of the Backyard Bulldogs. The at bat, two away. He deals. Got him! Got him before he gets the first. Congratulations, Taylor. Very difficult job you had there. Big race, big race, man. Big race. Two thirds is 
part of them. Two thirds of an inning and one save, man. What a year. I mean, that's just amazing, you know? So the Triple Crown is awarded to the player who performs at an exceptional level during the regular season and ends the regular season in batting average, home runs, and RBIs. This season, we had a player accomplish that feat for the first time in the history of North Carolina Wiffle Ball. So with that being said, the, the inaugural 2022 NCWB Triple Crown Award goes to Bryson McGee of the Carolina Crush with a 667 average, 31 home runs, and 99 RBIs. Oh, two. Oh. That is hammered out to deep left and gone. No doubter off the bat of Bryce. All right. Bryce McGee back in the box. Up, deep, gone. A deep solo hey, shot. Nice Bryson. Now, let's welcome Bryson back up to the stage to announce our 2022 Most Valuable Player Awards. Thanks, Isaac. The Most Valuable Player Award goes to a player who not only contributes greatly to his team's success, but performs at an exceptional level individually. The uh, 2022 American League Most Valuable Player Award candidates are... And without further ado, the 2022 AL MVP is Ethan Williams from the Southeastern Sharks. He had a 163 average, 22 home runs, and 89 RBIs. To all is hammered out to deep left, forget it! Swing the miss. So the National League Most Valuable Player Award has the same criteria. Um, so without further ado, here are the 2022 National League Most Valuable Player Award candidates. And without further ado, the 2022 National League MVP Award goes to Taylor Furches of the Backyard Bulldogs with a Point five six seven average twenty five home runs and seventy seven RBIs. So, go on, back to back home runs for the back. Full count, one away. The pitch, swing and a miss. Furches records his first strikeout of the season. Congratulations, Taylor. Um, next up, we'll have Ethan Williams come up to announce the 2022 ALCS and NLCS MVPs. ALCS, most valuable player, did a phenomenal job, came through when his team needed it most, and you know, just throw up this great pitching, great hitting. Can't say nothing else about it, really. Just great resilience from this player, and there's no other than Jackson Carroll. Send high, deep, going off the head. Top of the first, the pitchy deals. Strike. Bases loaded, two outs. Nine to two, your score. Bottom of the third, the pitchy deals. Swing and a miss. Strike out. And that ends. ALCS Game 3. ALCS Most Valuable Player. Once again, great resilience, like I said, throughout the entire season, regular season, postseason. Did amazing, you know, pitching-wise and hitting-wise, great average. And that goes to Bryson McGee from the Carolina Crush. Full count pitch, breaking ball high, deep, gone, a no doubter for Bryson McGee. A two pitch, strike three, looking on the swing and a miss on the breaking ball. And uh, thank you, Ethan. Congratulations to the ALCS and NLCS MVPs, especially to Jackson for carving up the Sharks there and <laughs> pulling the Sharks out of water. Um, but for the last set of awards tonight, we'd like to recognize the champions of both leagues, for their pennant wins and appearances in the 2022 World Series. First, we will recognize the Junior Circuit AL Champion of Eastern Express, finishing the 2022 season with a 14 and 12 record, capturing their second consecutive American League pennant and World Series appearance. Come on up, guys.
Top of the first, the pitch and deals. Liner into center field. That will score. Sent high. Deep. Gone off the head. Bottom of the third, the pitch and deals. Swing and a miss. Top of the first, the pitch and deals. Strike. Bases loaded, two outs. Nine to two, your score. Bottom of the third, the pitch and deals. Swing and a miss. Strike out. And that ends ALCS Game 3. Next, we'd like to recognize the National League Champion, Carolina Crush, who finished the 2022 season with a 19-6 record. And as we, Nope, hang on. Next, we'd like to recognize the NL Champion, Carolina Crush, finishing the season with a 19-6 record, along with their second consecutive pennant and World Series appearance as well on behalf of the National League. Congratulations, guys. Come on. Minus the inning. Two out, two two count, two in. The pitch, swing and a miss on the. A two pitch, strike three, looking on the. Three one count, Wiseman will deal. Jarrell opens up high, deep, gone. A two run shot. Finally, we would like to recognize the, the 2022 World Series champion, Eastern Express. Finishing 2022 with a 14 and 12 record, the Express won the 2022 World Series in five games, capturing their first ever World Series title as an organization, as well as the first World Series title of the North Carolina Wiffle Ball two man era. Congratulations, Brian and Jackson. We're on third with two away, 0 1 pitch. That was high. Deep and gone! Pitch. Ryan McGee lines that one up. Deep over Gerald's head. All of his hand off the wall. But it'll just be a deep single. 2-0 right, count. Gerald steps back in. Dribble back to the mound. Carroll makes the play. He feels it and takes the out at first. And that is the ball game. Not only is it the ball game, but the Eastern Express. They take... Game five. Finally, close out the night. We will welcome back Commissioner Bryson McGee to offer our closing remarks. Thanks, Isaac. Congratulations to all the winners tonight. Um, it's been a great 2022 season. Um, congratulations to all of y'all for a phenomenal year. If you would have told me um, that this was the uh, end of this season, it, I would tell you you're crazy because it feels just like yesterday that me and Isaac were having the long talks about 2022 and if we were gonna even be able to have a league. So thank you to each and every one of y'all that joined and that came and uh, stayed with us um, throughout the long haul. And we're here to stay. Um, we will see y'all in March, 2023. So without further ado, um, as for Bryce McGee, Isaac Williams, Ethan Williams, James Gerald, Jackson Carroll, Brian McGee, Taylor Furches, Brett Wiseman, we want to say so long from the NCWB headquarters and we will see y'all next time.